Hola kiddos, Clinton Yates here. We are at Public Bar downtown. It is March Madness. As you can see around me, the NCAA tournament is going on. So we're going to talk some sports today. 106.7 The Fan, WJFK FM's Danny Ruye will be joining us. He's a stand-up comic. Like I said, he's a sports talk host. He's a former baseball player, and he's a local guy. The kids call him Funny Danny. Let's meet him. What's up, kiddos? Clinton Yates here with Danny Ruye, known as Funny Danny in some people's worlds. Tell me something about how you got to where you are today. You were a Washington Post sports fan commenter. You were making YouTube videos. You were living in New York, and then next thing you know, you're here talking about sports as one of the more important sports voices in the city. How did that come about? Well, it's nice of you to say that I'm important at all, except for my own mind. But uh, it, it's, it's the typical path, obviously. What you do is you... Uh, make YouTube videos about the Redskins being a disgruntled fan, uh, oh, bitch and moan a lot up in New York City. Next thing you know, you get offered a job at the station you grew up listening to. Right. Pretty standard path. Should we teach our kids to be Redskins fans? You know, buddy, it's hard to believe in the Redskins these days. I don't want you to go through what I have. 20 years. You paying attention? Yeah, you're not listening. How did you get into comedy? How has it gone? You know, I mean, what is the D.C. comedy scene like? This is not the kind of place that's known for sort of homegrown comedy talent outside of, you know, maybe a handful of guys. What's it like? Here in D.C., there are willing participants. There, there's, uh, you know, fan bases, people that enjoy comedy, people that go to open mics. And audiences, by the way, are, are, are better than in most places. They're smarter. They have a higher threshold. It's not just like some, you know, Wednesday night show at a Bennigan's in the middle of nowhere where it's Bennigan. like, tell the sex joke again. You know, right. No offense to Bennigan's. It's delicious food. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. here it's like they have a higher threshold. So, so road comic kind of bad habits don't really fly here. Right. And it's a great place to get an honest reaction for yourself. If it's funny, people will laugh. Sorry about the timing. <laughs> you know, like it's So... You're a sports talk host. Yeah. We're going to have to talk a little sports. Okay. Your favorite local athlete of all time. Not Art the Monk. best. Art not Monk. the best. Art and Monk. And it's not you know, my dad, my dad used to say that if Art Monk ran for mayor, he'd win a landslide. I would, I'd vote for, I'd, I would go old school, like, like Bill Cutting style yeah. from freaking Gangs of New York. I'd go vote for him three times, shave a mustache, and do it again. Art Monk is my favorite athlete of all time. I, the, the guys that I uh, grew up idolizing were the guys that you could depend on. So Cal Ripken, Art Monk, uh, those kind of guys. You need to have an Art Monk gets eight. It yeah. <laughs> never dropped passes, ran incredibly crisp routes. Was Tremendous was mustache, by the way. If you haven't ever seen Art Monk's mustache. mustache, very good. It's an, an outstanding mustache. It, it says, trust me, I'll sell you a car if you want, but you don't need it. Favorite politician in town. You can go national, you can go federal, you can go local. I'm weird about this. I get a kick out of Joe Biden. Is that weird? <laughs> no. I, I, Everybody you, likes Joe Biden. Because I, that, that's my, that's my kind of gig. Isn't my it? mom loves Joe Biden, sidebar. My mom doesn't, but she doesn't like anything. But, like, listen, policy stuff aside, agree, disagree, whatever it is, don't you think he has, like, a way to open, like, four beers at once? Dude. Do you know what I mean? Like, he has, like, a movie with his did, elbow did or on, something. There was that onion post where it was, like, Joe Biden goes on record saying summer of 89 in Delaware was the most bitchin' ever. And it was like this whole thing about him tip. in cutoff shorts and driving in T-tops and stuff. Nah, Joe Biden's lived a better life than I have. You weren't flying enough life. Those are the steps you've got to make.